do you get art into space? Now that's probably a question you haven't asked yourself before, but for one Duluth artist, she's asked herself that for a year. <laughs> that's right, the artist behind a piece that's now on the moon is from right here in the Northland. And Northern News Now's Mitchell Zimmerman is in studio to share this out of this world story. <laughs> Good morning, Mitchell. Good morning, Paul and Natalie. It is really out of this world. And now she can say she's forever enshrined in space. Now one Duluth artist had her work sent up to the moon last week in the first American moon landing since 1972. Now the art, along with hundreds of other pieces, will forever etch humans into space. The first in five decades. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon. I did not realize the historical significance of it until my parents sent me a text message saying they had watched it on the news. The Odysseus moon lander, or ODI as it's called, is now on the moon's surface. But before the low profile mission funded by private dollars launched, the moon lander was filled with works from Earth, like poetry, music, clothing, and more. And a painting from Duluth artist Kelly Schamberger. I don't know if I'll wrap my head around it, honestly. It's an honor that only 200 people from around the world received. She won a competition out of 5,000 other artists. I screamed and then I sat back down because the email said that I couldn't tell anyone except my immediate family. This painting depicts a model ship on tissue paper and lights like fireflies behind it, which represents memories with Schamberger's uncle who died at the start of the pandemic. The whole thing is kind of a just processing through the grief of his death and memory and a way to just keep it forever. Forever, now enshrined in space, but back on Earth, one of the best moments wasn't the landing itself, but a call from her dad saying how proud he is of her. As a kid, that's quite an honor, um, but uh, my dad also right now has stage four liver cancer. Um, so it's also that, like, yes, he gets to see this. And while her uncle didn't get to see the landing, she knows he's right by her side. This one is the most personally significant painting I've ever made in my life. So to have that connection with him, and it's, like, literally sent off into the heavens, like, it's just appropriate. Reporting from Earth in Duluth, Mitchell Zimmerman, Northern News Now. Such a cool story. Now, mm -hmm. while Schamberger's art is now on the moon, it's not the actual full-size painting. Okay. It's a quarter-size version of her work. It's like a little nickel-size piece. And the space mission, in partnership with NASA, could help humans head further into space using the moon as a launch point to travel to unknown planets and galaxies. And for more information, you can head to our website, northernnewsnow.com. But so cool. Yeah, and I, I love the story, the mm -hmm. heartfelt story behind what how important that piece of work yes, is to her. It's yes. so fitting in the fact that she was able to kind of move through that pain and yeah. now to see her work on the moon is just so cool very amazing very cool. all yeah. right thanks very much for sharing thank that. you